Hey everyone, this is Randy with Excel for Freelancers. Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions about one of the applications I developed last year, the Ultimate Developers VBA Library. So I wanted to take just a few minutes to share with you some of the really great benefits of this. A little bit of a backstory. Now I've been developing applications in Excel VBA for many, many years. And it used to take me a long time, weeks, if not months to develop these applications because just developing the code itself would take so much time. Sometimes I've developed this code in the past, but I couldn't find where to locate it. For example, if I wanna create an email or I wanna create design work with a shape, or maybe I wanna work with files and folders. Now I've done this again and again and again, but I don't want to have to recreate or retype the code again. So what I would do is I would look in the past applications and try to find where I've programmed it before and then copy and paste it. Now this process, although it did save me time from copying and pasting it, it caused me a lot of time to find the workbook where I actually created the code. Because of all these problems and challenges, I wanted to develop a library for myself that I was able to quickly search and locate the code in just a matter of seconds, not minutes or hours. And I did just that. And it worked so great, I wanted to share it with you. And that's why I came up with the idea of the Ultimate Developers VBA Library. In just a few seconds, or even less than that, you're able to locate, copy, and paste the code. And so I wanted to take a few minutes to go over all the features and benefits. And for those of you who will purchase it, I wanted to make sure that you are able to get it started right away without any issues. So we're gonna go over step-by-step step on how to install this, how to use it, and how to take advantage of the auto hotkey feature that allows you to type in just a few keystrokes and have your code automatically appear in any module. So we're gonna get started right away. I'm just gonna go over a brief overview as requested by some of the members and subscribers so you can get familiarize yourself with this application and how it can benefit you and supercharge your development and coding to no time at all. So you can deliver your applications to your customers or whoever, your boss, in far less time than it would have taken you. So let's get into it. The first thing is when you download your application, you're gonna get a zip file like this called the VBA code library. So this is the package. So the first thing you want to do is uncompress this folder. And do that, we'll just extract it all into a folder and we'll put it inside our downloads. So we're gonna extract it just like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a few files inside this folder. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And inside this folder, you're gonna see three different files. The first thing we wanna do on any newer versions of Excel, we are gonna to have to unblock those macros. Generally, it is blocked depending upon the type of Excel application you're using. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna to go to properties. And often you're gonna decide, in this case we didn't, but often you'll see an unblock right here. So it'll look like something like unblock. You wanna make sure to check that or look for it in certain versions. Now I've unprotected the download location, but in most cases you're gonna have an unblock here and you'll just select that so that you can unblock the macros. For me, they're already unblocked, but you'll see what it looks like. Next up, what we have is an auto hotkey. Now this is gonna automate your code. Now there's two versions of auto hotkey, both one and two. In this particular application, I've gone with auto hotkey one. So we're gonna use auto hotkey one. On the website itself, you'll see one and two. We're gonna use one for this. And in the future applications, I'll probably go with two. So what you wanna do is just double click the setup of auto hotkey. And what that's gonna do is gonna take you through a little bit of a setup on that. And you'll see that we want to install, we've already got it installed. It says auto hotkey is installed. What do you want to do? I'm gonna install it as an additional version because I wanna have both one and two, my availability, so I can use those. So it says the following scripts will automatically auto hotkey and we just say okay to that. We already have a script that we're gonna work with. So it's gonna go through the process and download it. And now it's done. Okay, but we're gonna use this script. I've provided you a script. Now this script is where your code's gonna go. You don't need to really worry too much about the script. We can take a quick look at it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna edit the script. And all it is is gonna launch with whatever notepad and it's just gonna have some information. It's not gonna be anything in here that you need to really worry about. The idea is that we're gonna develop shortcuts in this. We're gonna use this script for shortcuts. And I'll show you exactly how that's gonna work, but just so you know, it's a blank, and we need to know the location of it. So it's very important you understand the location. For me, it's located right here. Okay, very good. So the next thing is with the email, when you get your email for confirmation, you're gonna to wanna to open the VBA library and you'll have a license key inside that. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy and paste it. So obviously I have more than one version, so I'm gonna close this 
and don't save it. I'm gonna open up this version right here, which is the brand new version. And when you open it, most likely you're gonna be prompted with this license and registration. If not, you can click it right here up in the upper left. So with your email, you'll have gotten the license key. If not for sure, email me, but you always do. And I'm gonna paste it in and then I'm gonna click register. So it's gonna register my key. And once it does that, we're gonna get a notification. You wanna make sure that you have access to online, that you're connected to the internet. So it says, thank you for registering it. You can now use all the features of the ultimate VBA code. Okay, so that's the first step. The only second step, what we wanna do for our auto hotkey feature is we need to use this browse feature to automatically browse for that AHK script file that we saw. When you see external data connections, we need to make sure we enable that content. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this. We need to browse for that auto hotkey. Remember this file right here, this script, that's what I wanna browse for. So I'm just gonna copy this. Then I'm gonna click browse. And I just basically wanna browse for that. And it's gonna be right in here. This is what I want. So basically when we automate scripts and I'll show you how that works, we will uh, need the path of this. I'm just gonna click open. It's gonna take that path. It's gonna put it right here. We are good to go. If we wanna search for any code, we, we need to do is just search here. So if I wanna search for any code here, I just click file and we can see all that we can browse for a specific file. Maybe I wanna browse for that. I wanna browse for folder so we can click folder. There are more than 500 macros, 526 macros. I can easily add more with updated versions. If we wanna unzip a folder, we have text files, we have arrays, we have applications, we have types here, conditions, date and time, error handling, file and for loops, and so on and so forth. We even have Mac code for you. So for example, if we want a loops, we wanna create a for next loop, we can do a, a for next loop a step backwards. With each code, we get an example of how to use it. So we have different nested for loops. We have for each and a whole lot. So we can loop through a pivot table. Pretty much any code you can think of is gonna be inside this. Now we've got this. So what we can do very easily is we can copy and paste this and I'll open up a blank workbook and we can just simply paste it in our code. So we'd go into the developers, Visual Basic, and we would insert a module on that, and we would paste our code. Now that's great. So we have a for each sample, we're browsing through it. So that's kind of a nice feature to copy and paste, but I'm gonna even save you more time than that. Let's look for a larger email. So let's look at some Outlook integration. Maybe we want to email, and maybe we want to process and move emails. We got a large macro. So we can organize Outlook emails. This is kind of a nice feature. Maybe you do this often for your clients and you wanna automate this. You wanna make it even easier. So this is organized Outlook emails or we can send multiple emails if we want to. Maybe we want to say send personalized emails and we do it so often, we write this code, we wanna create an auto hotkey shortcut. And so to do that, we can just create a little bit of a shortcut here and we'll just call this S-E-N PE, so send personalized emails. So that's like a little bit of a shortcut key. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna click save the code. Once I do that, it automatically updates our script. So I'm gonna go back into that VBA editor. I'm just gonna clear this out so I have room. And I'm gonna write send PE. Now when I hit tab or enter, it's automatically going to write the macro for us, just like that nothing else to it. So that's the complete macro. So now we've automated it. And if we take a look inside the script itself, we can see that we, there's some changes to that script. So I'm gonna open up right click and I'm gonna edit this script. And we see now it's gonna say, yes, I do wanna reload it. And we see now, let's just put a few slides, that we have this automated script, double colon, our shortcut key, another double colon, and the entire macro has been added to the script. So that's very, very cool. Even when you change it, let's go ahead and close that. We could also change it and that code is going to be updated automatically. So let's take a look at that. I'm gonna close this out and I'm going to just change it to EM. So, and then I'm going to save it. I'm gonna save our code. Now, when I go back into that, I'm gonna clear all of this send em and we see that even the new shortcut is working so we can also update the shortcuts on that so it's very very cool you can quickly automate just about any code also what you can do is you can create your own code so you can create your own vba code and you have your own library assign it your own type assign your own subcategory and so for example if i have application and i want to create something in an application and there's I've got a subcategory here, security and protection. Maybe I want to protect a certain sheet. So we can just go sheet protection, new. And so we can add a shortcut key if we want to. And so now we can say something like, uh, just 
click in here sub protect sheet new and then what we do is we just do something like alt enter so you can write entire subroutines or even just commands that you want so let's just say i want to just put a command in there so let's say i want to do active sheet protect and then i want to sign a password so even your new commands can do it so you can do something like this password so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this code and it's a brand new so now when we see application security protection we now have this new code inside and we've also assigned a new shortcut key so if we go back into the code here we can see that that brand new code is going to work just fine and we go in here and we just type in p-r-o-t-s-h and then protect sheet so even commands entire macros are just simple commands we can automate and we can create our own and it's very very cool we want to make sure we save it we can delete any code we can also just copy it so it's very very simple to use it's got over 500 macros in it and i think it'll be a huge benefit to your applications it should cut down your development time in half and anything that's not in the library you can add to it i also continually add update macros to this so keep that in mind there'll be additional updates that won't interfere with your own updates and also when you're clicking license and registration you can check for updates you can check for new macros so there's a lot of features to the ultimate developers vba library this is great for even whether you're a new vba coder you want to practice your vba code and learn it this is a great way whether you're an expert or anything in between this is the perfect companion to creating your own applications much much faster and also much more accurate and less air saving you a lot of time and hopefully money i'll include the link down below this is the ultimate developers vba library i've got a great price on it right now and uh, it'll certainly save you a lot of time and hopefully make you a lot of money thanks so much and we'll see you next time